In the next few minutes, I'm going to explain how to play Daughters by John Mayer. Before we begin, I would like to say that I am in standard tuning, and I'm going to refer to my strings by their letter names. The song begins with an introduction. In this introduction, the first note that we are going to play is going to be the ninth fret of our D string. So place your ring finger on the ninth fret of your D. You're going to pick that note one time, and you're going to play a vibrato with it. So you're going to push that note up and down the board, and you're going to hold it for a second. It's going to sound like this. After that, what you're going to do is you're going to leave your ring finger where it is, and it is on the ninth fret of your D. What you're going to do then is you're going to place your pointer finger on the seventh fret of your G string, and you're going to place your middle finger on the eighth fret of your B string. You're going to play those three notes, and you're going to let them ring out. And once again, my ring finger is on the ninth fret of the D, my pointer finger is on the seventh fret of the G, and my middle finger was on the eighth fret of my B string. Only those three notes are played. So, so far we have this played slowly. Then what we're going to do is our pointer finger, when we played that last chord, it was here on the seventh fret of your G string. You're going to leave it right there. What you're going to do is you're going to play that note, and with it you're going to stretch your pinky out to the eleventh fret of your D string. So you're going to play the eleventh fret of your D, and you're going to stretch, and you're going to also be playing the seventh fret of your G string. Those two notes are played. So far, all together. Then what we're going to do is we're going to place our ring finger here on the 8th fret of our B string. And we're going to take our pointer finger and we're going to place it here on the 7th fret of our D string. You're going to play your B string first. Then you're going to play your D string. Then play your B again. Then play your D once more. And then after that you're going to drop your pointer finger down here to the 7th fret of your B and you're going to play it with the vibrato. So that little group of notes there is going to sound like this, played slowly. All together in real speed we have this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come back and we're going to play that ninth fret of our D string once again with the vibrato. Then you're going to place your pointer finger on the 6th fret of your G string. You're going to play it and you're going to hammer on to the 7th fret. After that you're going to play the 9th fret of your D string once again with the vibrato. So far all together we have this. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to once again play that hammer on from the 6th fret of our G string to the 7th fret. After that, you're going to place your ring finger here on the ninth fret of your G string and you're going to play it with the vibrato. So far, all together we have this played slowly. And then to end the introduction, what you're going to do is you're going to place your pointer finger on the 7th fret of your B string. You're going to pick that note and you're going to bend it up a half a step and then stop it. And then to finish the introduction, you're going to play the 7th fret of your B string with a vibrato. So those last two notes are going to sound like this. And that's going to be all the introduction. So the introduction played in real speed is going to sound like this.
For verse 1, I have broken it down into four parts. In the first part, it is going to contain four chords. The first is going to be a B minor 7 add 4. This chord is formed by taking your middle finger and placing it on the seventh fret of your low E string. At the same time, you want your middle finger to be curved so that it lightly touches your A string because we want to get a muffled sound out of that string. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your ring finger and place it on the seventh fret of your D string and your pinky is going to go below it on the seventh fret of your G string. That's going to make up the B minor seven add four. A common note in all of these chords is going to be the seventh fret of your G string. So your pinky is never going to leave this note. So you're going to continue to press down on the seventh fret of your G with your pinky throughout all these chords. So we just played our B minor seven add four. The second chord is going to be an E minor seven. We're going to play this by placing our pointer finger on the fifth fret of our D. Our pinky is still on the seventh fret of the G and we're going to play our bottom two strings open. So be sure that your pinky is curved so that it does not touch your bottom two strings. That's going to be the second chord. It is known as the E minor seven. The third chord is going to be an E minor 7 with an A in the bass. So what we're going to do is we're going to just be playing the same formation. However, the only difference is going to be that we are going to include our open A string. So it's going to sound like this. And the fourth chord used in part 1 of verse 1 is going to be a D major chord. Once again, your pinky stays here on the seventh fret of your G string. You're going to place your pointer finger on the 4th fret of your D and your middle finger is going to go on the 5th fret of your A. And that's going to make up the D major chord in this position. Our strum pattern, we're going to strum each chord down, down, up, down, down, and then down, up, down, up. It will sound like this. Then make your chord change. Part 2 of verse 1, what we're going to do is we're going to play the same chords as we did in verse 1 in exactly the same way that we strummed them. The only difference is, is at the very end we're going to add a chord and we're going to play it two times. The chord that we're going to add is going to be also an E minor 7 chord. In this position it's played by placing your pointer finger on the 5th fret of your D string. Your ring finger is going to go on the 7th fret of your A and your pinky, like I said earlier, is still on the 7th fret of your G which it's never left. That's going to be the E minor 7 chord in this position. <laughs> So like I said, in part two, it's going to be exactly the same as part one. We're just going to add that one chord to the end. So I'm going to play it. It's going to sound like this, part two. And then part three is going to be exactly the same as part two. And part four is going to be exactly the same as part one. So that's the first verse in Daughters. All together, the verse is going to sound like this. <laughs> <laughs> 